feel? Thank you for asking. Feels amazing. Um, I had eight nominations this year. Uh, getting four of them is pretty good. Uh, so I'm just grateful, honestly. So many people have worked very, very hard around me to make things like this a possibility. And I think this is just a testament to a lot of people working really hard and being honored by your peers is, is really cool. Right here. What advice do you have for other singer-songwriters? Yeah, I would say some advice for other singer-songwriters would be to diligently serve the people in front of you and do it with the spirit of excellence and the spirit of purpose and not look for a bigger crowd or a bigger opportunity, but become bigger in the space that God has entrusted you with. The Bible says that a man's gift makes room for itself. So we don't have to elbow our ways into rooms. We just hone our gift and watch as God expands what's around us. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, my single known is probably the most important song that I've ever been a part of. Um, for me, I, it's just been a doorway for God teaching me some really important things that I need to learn. And one of those is that image is overrated. So as grateful as I am for all of these pictures and getting to hold these trophies, this is... This doesn't matter as much as what's happening inside of my heart. And God knows those things. And in the midst of all of my brokenness and imperfection, in the midst of all of his knowledge of me, he still loves me. And uh, that is the heart of that song. And I think that's why it's connected with so many people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's oh, high? Really? Wow. Yeah. Well, I was really at a place three years ago ready to lay all of this down. You know, being an artist and what that means. Because I really, honestly, I just love the local church. Uh, I love serving in the local church. And that is a worthwhile cause to give your life to. And so I was really content with that. And so I decided to step away from the band that I was in. I was in a band called Royal Taylor. And I knew that stepping away from that could possibly meant that I was stepping away from the whole opportunity. So it's been cool to see that once I got to the place where I was willing to lay down what I had been holding so tightly to, that God really blessed me with opportunities I, I never thought possible. We have time for one more question, sir? Yes, that song Hills and Valleys is such a blessing. What's the, what's the story behind that? Yeah, Hills and Valleys has just come from the, the culmination of my life. You know, we wrote that song in a couple of hours, but I think I spent most of my life, you know, getting that lyric and that melody together because I've just been through so many highs and lows, ups and downs. And I actually have learned that in the high places we bow low and in the low places we stand tall. And that's the real posture of humility is being able to, to bow low in a moment of significance and to stand tall in the moment of struggle. Thank you. <laughs>